first uh, monetary policy statement of the current financial year 2024-25 and uh, this is how it goes. As you would be aware, earlier this week we commemorated the 90th year of the Reserve Bank of India. The journey of this August institution is closely related to the evolution of the Indian economy. Numerous historic events have occurred during these nine decades. And they consist of the nationalization of the Reserve, nationalization of the reserve Bank in 1949, the planning era, bank nationalization, wars, droughts, the fall of the Bretton Woods system, oil shocks, a precarious balance of payment situation and the subsequent market reforms, the Asian and the global financial crisis, the taper tantrum and finally the COVID-19 pandemic and the geopolitical hostilities of the recent years. During this journey, the Reserve Bank was always at the forefront, combining its developmental and regulatory roles in steering the Indian financial system and the economy towards stability. While doing so, the Reserve Bank has discharged its responsibility with integrity and professionalism. Compared to many other central banks, the Reserve Bank has a much broader range of functions which is vital for ensuring macro-financial stability of a modern and complex economy like India. There are functional complementarities among the various responsibilities of the Reserve Bank of India. Being a full-service central bank, the Reserve Bank is well positioned to take a holistic view of various critical issues confronting the economy and the financial sector and it's also well positioned to take appropriate steps in the best interest of the economy. We continuously strive to learn, adapt and innovate while performing our multiple responsibilities. I would now like to focus on the decisions and deliberations of the Monetary Policy Committee meeting, which uh, met on 3rd, 4th and today, uh, 5th of April. After a detailed assessment of the evolving macroeconomic and financial developments and the outlook, the Reserve Bank MPC decided by a majority of 5 to 1 to keep the policy repo rate unchanged at 6.5%. Consequently, the standing deposit facility, that is the SDF, rate remains at 6.25% and the marginal standing facility, that is the MSF rate, remains at 6. Point MSF rate and the bank rate, they remain at 6.75%. The MPC also decided by a majority of five out of six members to remain focused on withdrawal of accommodation to ensure that inflation progressively aligns to the target while supporting growth.